School is back in session for nearly 20 districts in the Metro Detroit area, including the Dearborn Public Schools, Southfield, and Birmingham School Districts. Also began this morning for students in Farmington Hills, but virtually. Paula Tutman introduces us to a family that is trying to make the most of the remote start. The Browns of Farmington Hills were kind enough to invite us into their home this morning so we could kind of be like flies on the wall to see how this brand new learning thing is going to work. 36 minutes. <laughs> there were no pictures, but also no jitters. No drama over what to wear. You got a long way to go. Your drive to your classes is full of I mean, way. we yeah, we gotta leave time for travel. Only a quick commute up the stairs. Thirteen year old Michaela's district, the Farmington Public Schools district, is starting the year off remotely. On the first day of school there was like a lot of a excitement. Now there's not that much excitement. For many parents and students, turning a computer monitor into a vehicle for formal education is a mammoth shift and lift. But for this Farmington teacher, it was as simple as putting on a tux and making remote learning formal. So I, I really appreciate you being patient with me and um, I'll get this going. As it is with every first day, there is the business of figuring out the flow, and remote learning is not different, except that things are so very different. So this week, the schedule's a little wacky for the first uh, three weeks. Tomorrow you guys are going to have a little Google form that you're going to fill out, uh, getting so I can help get to know you. It's the interaction, like seeing who changed, like when you go back to school, like seeing who... Um, who got taller, who, like, their personality changed, like, what they like. It was exciting to see new people. Still worry about the long-term effect mm -hmm. of this. I mean, really, we're only talking six months, and the mental impact is always a question, right? So because my daughter's in her room, there's always a thought of, this can't be good. Is she okay? You know, what's going yeah. on or what's in your mind? We're all dealing with trauma in very different ways, but we have this commonality of this in this pandemic. For Michaela, it is learning a new way to learn. When school ended abruptly in March, the remote learning was called enrichment, and now it's called school, and it counts. And in the eighth grade, the runway is getting shorter for college-bound kids. The pros, I get to stay at home, and like, I can go at my pace. The cons, maybe how it's organized. I don't feel like it's gonna be organized as well as like it would be if I was at school in person. Paula Tutman, Local 4. Appreciate that inside look, Paula. And make sure to stick with us at Local 4 here. We wanna help you prepare for this very different school year. Join Steve Gargiola and Sandra Ali tonight at 10 o'clock for our live Education for All special. They'll be sharing advice from teachers, medical experts, and parents whose children have already started school.